But first at 11, the woman arrested after the murders of an elderly couple at a senior home in Lake County is now facing charges for those murders after she was caught in Georgia, we're told. Today she made her first appearance in front of a judge here in Central Florida. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Anken. Glad you're with us tonight. Daryl and Sharon Getman were found dead in their Mount Dora Senior Living Facility last weekend. Now a judge is keeping the suspect locked up. New Six's Brian Didlake is here with more on that court hearing. Brian. Yeah, Eric, a major turn of events with Williams back in Central Florida. Not only is he charged with stealing the couple's car, she's now charged with their murders. After reviewing your application for criminal indigent status, I appointed the public defender's office to represent you. A judge Saturday setting no bond for 50-year-old Vicki Williams. You were charged with one count of grand theft, statutory property. The other additional charges are two counts of murder in the first degree. Police now pointing the finger at Williams for the murders of Daryl and Shannon Gitman. Investigators say their bodies were found inside their home last weekend, but have yet to say how they were killed. This is an isolated event. I know it's, it's really hard for that to sink into people, but this is an isolated uh, event. The police say a surveillance camera captured the couple's car leaving the Waterman Village. It would later be found in surveillance. Savannah, Georgia, where police say they found Williams behind the wheel. They were kind. Uh, they were always helpful. If someone needed a favor, they stood there ready to help. Neighbors reflected on the tragedy this week and the impact the Gitmans had on their community over the past 20 years. Their children said in a statement, if there are words to describe what has happened and its impact to our family and the community, we have not found them. And now police say this was a random attack and Ad Williams was even escorted off property hours before the Gitmans were found dead. Williams is set to go before a judge again at the end of this month. But for now, we are live in the studio. Brian Ditlake getting results. News 6. So sad, Brian. Thank you.